I think we um, we were good in the first half without I thought having that freedom and moving the ball quickly. That was the message half time. If we move the ball when we've got the ball, if we move it quicker, we'll be quicker in attack, we'll cause more problems. We've done that in the second half. Yeah. Like the forward runs, the second goal, typical. I thought we'd we done well in possession. Their defence gets a bit so opened up and then Al makes a brilliant run. So overall it was a really good afternoon as well. Through the season, it didn't look as if you were missing Barry's creativity. Did you miss Barry's creativity when he's looking after? It's a brilliant asset to have. I think he's, it, Baz isn't fit. You can see that he's had a long time out, but he's got unbelievable quality. And I think he's good at managing himself within that game there um, in the last than 80 minutes. But he's got brilliant quality. He started against Livingston, comes up with some big moments. Today's quality is good again. What we get out of him this season is a bonus, um, but it'll be really, really important next season. 30 goals for Lawrence. I mean, what more can you say about what he's achieved this season? Really good. I think the appreciation you see, you see from the fans at the start, the recognition that the club give him for the award he gets, and I fully expect him to get the rest of the awards. But it, it's probably the consistency. It's not the individual scoring 30 goals, you know, or he's, but it's his all round consistency of, of coming up the goals and, and turning into a leader and a, a really good, experienced professional. But um, And he's got loads of drive because he wants to. Maximise what he can do in his career. Just obviously, he's got a big summer coming up, but just for his own point of view, just I mean, he's had a wee bit of a dry spell lately, just getting another goal and just getting that sort of scoring form going again before the summer will be important for him. Yeah, but I think I fully expect them to be in the Scotland squad, so that kind of pre camp is going to be there for all the players, and that'll be the, the, the most important part for him. I think from now to the summer, he'll just continue to do what he does. He's, a, he's a, like I said, he's a leader, he's much more than just a goal scorer. And, um, it's been a fantastic season for him, it's been a fantastic season for us as a, us as a group and today probably sums that up that it's a nothing game for us but we still go out and put on a good performance. What's your analysis of James Wilson's performance on the bench? Good, I think James is, he, for the last six months or so he's trained with us a lot and I think today probably shows why we put him in the first team environment more because he comes on and looks like a first team player there, he's, he, he doesn't look like a kid that's just trying, we're just trying to go on the pitch he contributed a lot. He, he was unfortunate a couple of things he's, for a finish, but his all-round play is really good. Um, and I think going forward, he'll be part of the first team group next season. Because looking at him, it did even go back to his debut against Spartans. It did look like he physically developed as well. Has that been the case? Yeah, yeah. And that, that, that's I think it's really important. And I, I said before the game, young players will get opportunity here, but they're not going to just get given opportunity for the sake of it. I think James has had to be patient. He's been. He's been frustrated at times, he's not a chance and he's not been able to get in, but I've, went, I've lived it as a young player. I understand that if he gets in too early, his confidence could take a drop, which then takes another four months for him to get back up to where he was. We need him to have a steady rise and, and I think going forward he'll be a, a big player like Macaulay and Denham have been in, in the squad this season, he will be next season. Both players get an opportunity as well, but Craig has made a couple of saves again. How do you manage that in the last couple of games? I picked the goal that I feel should play. Um, I think the two of them, credit them both. Both of them could be frustrated at times. Both of them have had to perform, and they have. Uh, they both got a goal that they want to beat the Euros, and they'll do all they can. There'll be hard decisions for a goalie because there's four goalies that are in the mix. Um, but the two that we've got here will do all they can to give us a chance. Do you talk to him? Does he stay in touch with you? I speak to him a lot. Um, but he's not going to give much away at the moment. He'll, he'll, in knowing him, he'll, he'll give it to the last moment and then he'll make the choice. He's got a lot of big decisions to make, not just the goalies, but all through the squad. That's actually secured your highest points tally since 2006, 18 years. How pleasing is that? Really good. I think that's a good measure for us. Yes, we've had a good team, but if you focus just on us and how we go about and winning games, you know, it's a good marker. But I want to get to 70. I think that's a realistic goal. I think it's something that we can do. Today could have went either way now that it's all sorted and it's it's comfortable because we can't do it. but it shows the drive the squad's got that we put on the performance we did today to get three points. What's the latest just with Frankie Kettling on the bench and Macaulay Tables in the squad? It's just competition for places but Frankie, he's had a wee knock over the last two three weeks and I think that was an opportunity to give him a few more days. Um, I fully expect he'll play in the last two games but I thought today was we went to a four. It was a good opportunity. I, I full trust in the others, and I think they showed today that we're secure, no matter who we play centre half.
when you said Sergeant you said uh, about his brother Noyes, speak to that and share with him. What stage are they ever going to speak to him shortly? Um, you can ask him. No. I think that, uh, it's always tough for players coming back. See when you miss a big chunk of the the season. Everybody's at their peak and you're trying to clang on to try and get there. That's the hard part of being there myself. We'll love see him till he's prime, best condition after pre-season, I think. But he's still contributing in these games when he's not 100% back to where he expects to be. So that shows you the quality he's got. Right.